Power Factory version 2020 is now released and we'd like to show you some of the new features it offers. If you have already installed the new version, you will see that the software has a fresh updated appearance. In fact, there is a new application framework supporting the GUI, which also opens up many possibilities for improving usability. Tool windows can now all be moved around freely. For example, the updated drawing toolbox and the project overview occupy the same space by default, but the user may wish to arrange these differently. The toolbars can similarly be moved freely or docked into another position. An option to restore the default view is provided. In the graphic window, users can split the view vertically or horizontally and use context menus on the graphic tabs to manage the graphics. Additional options are offered to open up previously closed diagrams or plots. For network analysis, Power Factory offers a wide range of calculation functions, from the fundamental AC load flow through to highly specialized and sophisticated analysis tools. But the needs of the customers are at the forefront, and so it is essential that we are able to offer calculations according to the latest standards. For arc flash analysis, we now offer calculations according to the IEEE 1584 standard 2018 publication, as well as continuing to support the early options. And users in Germany will be pleased to know that the latest connection request standards, VDE ARN 4105 and VDE ARN 4110 standards, published in 2018, are now supported. Other tools have been improved or enhanced to offer more options to the user. The release notes for this version give full details of the changes and the more significant enhancements are described in the What's New document, but we would like to show you a few examples. In version 2019, we introduced the Unit Commitment and Dispatch Optimization module to assist system operators in the secure and optimized scheduling and dispatch of generation. The module is now enhanced by the introduction of a storage model which can be associated with generators such as pumped storage units or batteries. We have also introduced additional plots for this module and for quasi-dynamic simulation, for example, complete generation by area and generation by plant category. For the network reduction, we have introduced an option to carry out a so-called dynamic network reduction for users for whom the dynamic behavior of the network after reduction is critical. The dynamic behavior of the generators in the area to be reduced is first analyzed and then reproduced in retained aggregated generation. A verification option allows users to check the validity of the RMS solution. The existing load flow sensitivities function has been extended to encompass a range of sensitivities and distribution factors. Of particular interest to transmission system operators, the distribution factors are quantities such as power transfer distribution factors or PTDF and line outage distribution factors or LODF. The results can now be viewed via dedicated reports or exported for post-processing. The Protection Coordination Assistant has been completely redeveloped and allows user-defined rules for calculating distance reach settings. Consideration of zone direction, aggregation of parallel lines and time grading, taking into account overcurrent relays at T-offs, offer increased flexibility. The Settings report has been enhanced to allow the path used for the calculation of settings to be accessed and it is now possible for settings to be transferred to individual relays or even individual zones. But of course, just as important as the analysis functions is accurate modeling of network components. We constantly review our network element models in order to ensure that the user has access to the models he or she requires, and we develop new models or enhancements where needed. Let us look at just a few of the new features in this version. Developments made to support time domain solutions in Power Factory include enhanced switch event options. And for EMT simulations, a circuit breaker transient recovery voltage envelope curve has been introduced. 
The effects of dead time in the converter valves of a two-level PWM converter are now also supported for EMT calculations. And modeling of single-phase networks is improved with the introduction of a single-phase synchronous machine model and controller and a single-phase three-winding transformer. The welcome slide pack for Power Factory 2020 can now be viewed at any time from the help menu and there is of course much more to read in the What's New document. Thank you for watching and we hope that you enjoy working with Power Factory 2020.